Ludlow, California has its beginnings, much like other towns in the California desert. Settled in 1882 in order to support the Atlantic and Pacific Railroad as both a water stop for steam locomotives, but also as a junction for nearby mining. Ludlow is located between Interstate 40 and the current BNSF railroad trackage. Unlike many other Route 66 towns, Ludlow still survives today because the interstate system didn't entirely bypass the town. When Route 66 was built, much of the town's businesses relocated from their former Main Street locations along the railroad tracks to the current alignment, leaving behind many structures and foundations. Even though the interstate didn't bypass the town, it still had its impacts, resulting in a decline in population and the closure of several Main Street businesses. Please join me while we explore what remains of this historic town. This building is the remains of the Ludlow Motel. The building was originally constructed in Goldfield, Nevada, and was known as the Mohawk Hotel. In 1921, the building and its adjacent cabins were relocated to Main Street Ludlow and was operated as the Oasis Hotel. In 1939, Lucy Venus McNeil Pendergast and her husband Henry purchased the Oasis Hotel and relocated it to its current location along Route 66. After exploring the old Ludlow Motel, I went over to Main Street to see what I could find. All that remains at this next location is a foundation. As you can see, it's littered with old railroad ties and lumber from other buildings. On the adjacent lot there is a house, but all that remains is a wooden structure.
On Old Main Street, there are definitely more foundations and actual buildings left to explore. This old gas station is located back on Route 66. I really love the old mid-century style architecture with the winged awning. Next to the gas station is an old garage that had a towing service. This old abandoned house is right next to the garage. It's in pretty rough shape, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of vandalism. The nearby railway was a constant reminder of the history of Ludlow. While I was exploring, there was easily over 10 trains that traversed this area. Most of these trains were carrying intermodal containers, 
likely to and from the Port of Los Angeles. As always, thank you for watching. If you stumbled on my video and enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. I have also created a playlist of my other abandoned location videos, which is linked in the end screen. Thank you so much.